Day two on Joshua, here we are entering into the promised land. Joshua is a son of Nun. The word Nun or his father's name was Nun, and it is a 14th letter in the ancient Hebrew, which means to actually be fruitful in the land. It's where we get the idea for Christians concerning the fish that we put on cars and etc. Fruitfulness is from the word Nun in the ancient Hebrew. Nonetheless, Joshua or Jesus is about to lead us into the promises of God. What does that exactly all entail? Well, the first thing we need to understand, he said that you need to take the Ark of the Covenant. And the Ark of the Covenant contained the bread, uh, manna, it contained the budded rod of Aaron, and it contained the Ten Commandments. Now, when we get born again, we receive the Ark of the Covenant because that is Christ Jesus, who is the bread of life, who is the buttered rod of Aaron, and who is the completion of the Ten Commandments in the process of taking the promised land. So here we are going into the promised land with the Ark of the Covenant. It says the priests that carry the Ark, now we are kings and priests, we're about to step down into the River Jordan. See you tomorrow.